I guess you could say David Morris was destined for a career in snooker. Grew up in Kilkenny. And he lived at number 147. Good job his dad didn't get a free ball then. Well, this young man's played steady all week here. Wins against Gary Wilson, Gerard Green. And of course, that great win yesterday over Ali Carter, 5-4. So the confidence has been building right through the week. Carter Mike to prevail in a final frame decider against a player of Carter's ability just shows he's got the temperament to go with his ability Just, just going away from them a little further than you would have liked. Still needs potting and a little stun run through for the black. Well played. Might need to just nudge these four reds here. Blacks the ball really. Just stay positive here, go full blooded for the cannon. And if he gets these open, a great chance to win this opening frame. But he's missed the black. The second black, but he's undercut into that pocket. Suddenly, Stevens with a great chance here to pinch this opening frame. Nothing safe on the table. Seven. Bit of a stretch for Stevens, not a player who enjoys using the rest. Proficient though when he does switch hands. Oh, hello. <coughs> Slow down. Big These big. tables are noticeably faster now than they were a couple of days ago. Yeah, they were quite sluggish, weren't they, at the start of the tournament? And I mm. think one or two of the top players really had a problem coming to grips with the fact that the 
Tables were a lot slower than they used to. Now Trump was one player who really struggled with his positional play. In his shock defeat to Lu Ning. Lu Hang, I should say. But as the week has progressed, undoubtedly the tables have got quicker. John Higgins, meanwhile, has made a fast start in his quarterfinal against Joe Perry. Higgins certain to win that opener. Popping up the last few balls. Chance of meeting with either Stevens or Morris, of course, in the offing. Rob Milkins to play Neil Robertson in the other semi. Still a possibility of the repeat final, of course, from Sophia, isn't it? Indeed, when Higgins got the better of Neil Robertson in what was a high-class three days of snooker in Bulgaria. Ronnie O'Sullivan was there as well. O'Sullivan would have been here in Wuxi had it not been for a family bereavement that caused him to withdraw. Stevens, though, looking good here to get the first frame on the board against David Morris, who has twice missed a black off its spot in this frame. And at this level, it's rare that you don't get punished if you do that. Just wanted to put uh, a touch foul on the blue here. Great shot. Thirty-five. Needs yellow and green. Well, Morris did have a couple of decent chances in this opening frame, twice missing relatively routine blacks. Yeah, I just wonder, though, in this encounter here, Phil, that experience might tell. Well, certainly Stevens holds all the aces in that department. 49. Professional now for nearly 20 years, the Welshman, David Morris, Pretty new to this big match environment. Early days, though. Long way to go. But it's Stevens who's made the better start. As he clears the table. So Matthew Stevens strikes first in this quarterfinal. 1-0.